So Frontier has announced the Zookeeper's Animal Pack, what is this Human Leap Planet Zoo's final DLC, but we'll have more on that later. This pack is releasing on October 15th with 7 animals and over 95 new scenery pieces, as well as the 5th anniversary update or 1.18, which includes new hats, a jelly enrichment item and the African Leopard. Let's get into it. So our first animal is the Palace's Cat, which was teased back in September as part of that key art that was shown on Frontier Unlocked. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I know a lot of people were criticizing it, but looking at it in action, it actually looks pretty good. I love how it's got its little mittens that are a different color to the rest of its body. It's got that really fluffy look. The patterns look fantastic. And honestly, the face isn't as round as people were thinking. And I knew it was a matter of perspective, and yeah, it looks fantastic on the side view and throughout the trailer as well. Our next animal is the Spectacle Bear, a highly requested animal from South America. Finally got a new South American animal, yay! Um, it is another bear, but the Spectacle Bear is certainly one of my most requested animals, as it's from the Andes, and we really haven't had that many Andean animals, so it's great to finally get this guy. Unfortunately, we don't have any more South American animals in this pack as it's only seven species, which is odd for what could be a final pack, but who knows. But yeah, it looks fantastic. The, the patterns look great. Can't wait to see some of the variations in that spectacle pattern. Our third animal is the highly requested Hammer Dry Spaboon, which initially um, in the key art didn't look too good. Um, but then again, it was a silhouette, but here it looks fantastic. It's about as good as I think we could ever get for an animal like this. And yeah, it, it looks fantastic. I really love how it looks, the details in the fur. And yeah, I can't wait to be using this guy in our parks. The fourth animal is the Markor, a wild goat from the Himalayas, which is teased in the key art, but we haven't actually gotten a good look at it yet. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how detailed this animal is in the horns and in the shaggy fur. The fifth animal is probably my most exciting, but the most exciting inclusion for me. The Cockerel Safaka, an animal I've been dying to have in Planet Zoo for a very long time. And it's actually in this pack, which is really exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing their unique animations as these guys are known to hop along the ground. And yeah, these guys will be a great addition to any zoo. They are just phenomenal animals and I can't wait to see it in game. The Kirk's Dick Dick is our, is our sixth animal, a diminutive antelope from the scrublands of Africa. And yeah, I think they've got a little bit of a trunk, um, trunk-like nose, or at least a prehensile nose, somewhat upper lip, I don't know. Um, but they are very small. They are a lot smaller than any other ungulate we have in the game. So it's going to be really interesting to include these in your zoos. You could probably include them with stuff like meerkats or something. But yeah, it's going to be really interesting to have such a small antelope. It would have been good to get some big ones too, like a greater kudu or an eland. But you know, we've got the dick dick now, so that's great. We also have the African Spurred Tortoise as our final habitat animal. This is also one of my most um, requested additions to the game, and certainly an exciting addition for this kind of pack, as we have not had a habitat tortoise since the base game five years ago um, to, to this DLC. So yeah, it's great to finally get the third largest tortoise in the world. Um, and I think the the tortoise, the uh, Spectacle Bear and the Markle were all featured in Zoo Tycoon 2, so yeah, for any of those Zoo Tycoon 2 fans, you've got some legacy species here. In the anniversary update, we also get the African Leopard, which was teased on the Frontier Unlock livestream. And it's the same image, but it looks fantastic. It's probably one of the best looking big cats we've ever had in the game. And I'm certainly excited to use this in Savannah's and Congo builds. We also get a shot of a of what looks to be our scenario zoo. So we've got a scenario coming up where we're going to be working with Emma Goodwin to stage a celebration for Planet Zoo, um, and or at least the, this, the Frontier Zoo um, for the five year anniversary. And we've got a few interesting shots. So we've, um, 
We also see some of the new scenery, which are these tents and also these large flowers. But uh, yeah, there's, there's apparently over 95 new scenery pieces. Some of them are probably here, but uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to get some new looks at those. So we get a few looks at some of the animals that we're also getting. So the spectacle bear can be seen down here with two cubs. We also get a look at some of the hammer drives baboons and the palace's cats. I think this little grey dot um, down towards the bottom right is one of the kittens. We also get the shyest look at the markor, which is way off in the distance. And then we get a shot of these couple of habitats back here. Which, I mean, under this ash tree, it looks like there's a silhouette of one of the dick dicks. And I think in this habitat, which is a walkthrough, we can see potentially the shell of a tortoise either next to the keeper or just above these ferns at the edge of the habitat. Not sure. But the one question that comes with this pack is, is this the last DLC? Well, it could very well be as Jurassic World Evolution 2 did have a similar situation with the Park Managers Collection Pack, which added four animals that are highly requested, but except for Thanatos Dracon. Um, but they, they didn't have a particular theme necessarily, other than that they're highly requested. And that's what I'm sort of seeing with this pack. We've got a load of African species, some, some Asian species, and one South American animal, and no exhibit animal, which is rather surprising. I thought we'd get a King Cobra, but unfortunately not. But, yeah, is this the last DLC that we're ever going to get? I am really not sure. But, um, there were, in the Planko Dictionary, which, uh, Frontier released recently, I, I think, I think, it, I think it was recently, unless it's been there the whole time, but, uh, there were two animals in there that well, at least two two words that were in there that aren't as part of this pack, which is Goodfellow and Secretary, which are, of course, attributed to the Goodfellow's Tree Kangaroo and the Secretary Bird. It is Their exclusion from this pack is quite odd, as they are two of the most requested animals in the game, as well as the Kawati, Walrus, Muskox, Shoebill, Black Howler Monkey, Spider Monkey. There are loads of animals that were highly requested but are not in this pack which is strange to say the least yeah so i don't know if this would be the last pack one reason i think this isn't the last pack is that i don't think frontier would want to miss out on the winter season and christmas and all that because this is releasing in october so we've still got um the last half of october November and December so we may get a DLC in December I'm not too sure but I think it's likely but if I'm wrong well you can tell me in December but uh, I feel like we could potentially get another pack in December I don't know but because even though this seat this is themed around zookeepers and sort of a celebration it doesn't I mean Eurasia had that too Eurasia had some Nancy's retirement, I'm pretty sure it was. But, uh, and this one seems to be more of just a celebration of the five years of Planet 2, rather than an actual fine finale pack. That, that's just what I'm thinking. But, uh, yeah, so we could potentially see another DLC released in December, as we did have a similar situation back in 2022 with the Twilight Pack releasing at the very end of October and also, well I think it was the very end no it wasn't the very end, I think it was around a similar time, about October 17th or something, but we got it then, unless it was October 24th, I do not remember, but we had Twilight in October and then we also got Grasslands in December, so the possibility of getting another pack in December after this is there, but um of course, I'm not 100% on that, but just feeling like we can't end the game without some of these highly requested animals, as who knows when Frontier decides to make a Planet Zoo 2, like we'd be waiting a good few years for it, and our zoos, even though some of these animals are pretty completing, like the Hammer Drives Baboon, loads of them are not really the final animals that we were looking for necessarily like we also don't have any flying birds but i'm also not that much of 
Um, I, I don't really care that much for flying thirds in Plan 2 at this point, but um, in terms of other animals, tree kangaroos, koatis, secretary birds, all that sort of stuff, we can't end the game without some of those guys, as they just fill in the niches that we don't have filled right now. And uh, yeah, I hope that there is a pack after this. But if not, well, I guess it's bittersweet. But um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. But that is all we have to cover right now. There, we've got all our animals that were teased in that are in this pack. We've got the the Hammerdrive's baboon, the Markor, the Palace's cat, the Spectacle. Bear, the Cockerel Sparker, Dick Dick, Spurred Tortoise, African Leopard, all that coming on October 15th. But let me know your thoughts on this pack in the comments down below, and I guess I'll see you on October 15th. Or well, actually, no, not then. Um, whenever I can, whenever I have the time to actually record a video. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.